Alright glass guys, you may have been wondering what happened yesterday. Unfortunately yesterday I didn't have the YouTube skit to do. Unfortunately for that the teacher had to leave uh, due to an emergency. So eventually you've been wondering what's really CCA? CCA is actually co-curricular activities. But if but if even if it's in the 12th grade, um, you don't have to do CCA activities. Eventually, I'm going to have to tell you something about this. So basically, we start to 12th grade um, on Thursday. Eventually, for that, the good news is I only have two classes. And so you've been wondering, do I really have a Sunday class? No, I don't have a Sunday class. So eventually, that's omitted. Okay? Okay, another thing I want to talk to you is... Why are we really going to start the 12th grade early? Well, for unknown reasons, we don't know why we're apparently going to start the 12th grade early. But for, for my perseverance is is that we may start the 12th grade a little early. You, you may be wondering, from the calendar, do we really have like a term break? Yes, we do, but classes will be still on with no, to no tutorials. So even though the teachers from, from Canada we still have to log in, you know. Okay, another thing is that when is the schedule going to come for the 12th grade? I'm not really that sure. I know on Monday I have to come to school, but the timings will change because basically I'm at school for two days and I won't be online okay, eventually. But, but the good news is since I only have one Saturday class, I don't have night classes, which is good news for everyone. Um, the thing is, about data management, we actually had some problems. We couldn't hear the teacher talking, and my friend was asking, uh, what's our homework? Eventually, we don't know yet, and, uh, and this is actually the teacher's first time in here. Now, we don't know why they want to start early, but just let it be, okay? I'm not gonna say anything, you know? Okay, so you've been wondering, what are the actual exceptions for this grade? Well, eventually, we just talked to the group to say that the, the thing is really, really confusing. Not to mention that, but on Monday, I have to go to a meeting. So eventually, I won't be online with my friend. I will be at school. And you've been wondering, the term break was actually from the 15th to the 24th of April. The classes will be as usual, but it will be virtually. And then it means that the classes will be conducted by lecturers from Canada. It will go on. And secondly, the difference of the term break in the schooling time that you'll not have totals. So it means that we're not going to have totals. So eventually what I was going to say is that we're not having totals for this class. Okay, another thing is this one. So eventually you may know about this. So eventually, the blue one has been circled by my friend. So it says we only have Good Friday and Easter Monday. But I don't know if we're going to actually do come to school or not. And actually for the second thing I wanted to say is that um, for these kinds of classes, um, Section 4 will be uh, from 7.30 to 10.30, which is actually from my class. So good news is I don't really have to take night classes. But for those which are physics and... Uh, Physics, I think you have to take the night classes, right? It says like, for physics, you really have to take night classes, but what about the rest? For drama and data management, you don't have to. But data management is actually, is very compulsory, and it's for the preparation of university. Even though for that, we don't know, don't know the schedule yet, never sent, it's still early, don't worry, okay? Don't worry about it too much. And as for you, Michael, I'm very sorry about this inconvenience because I was supposed to start 12th grade um, pretty early, but but you know, you know the drill. I think they wanted us to graduate early. So I'm really, really sorry for that. But anyways, I think that's all for now. And this is me signing off.